If you've ever watched video analysis of yourself, you probably thought you did an amazing turn and then watched the video analysis and realized that that amazing turn was probably subpar and not really amazing. It's interesting that surface can be broken down into three lines. The beginner who surfs flat at the bottom of the wave the intermediate who surfs mid-face, going left and right, racing to the shoulder and coming back. And then the advanced surfer who goes top to bottom, tapping into the wave's energy, speed and power. Now, those three lines that you take are determined by how your body reacts to stress. If you take off on a wave and your body's frozen, because there's so much information, you don't know what to do, you're going fast, there's just people coming past you, you just freak out and you freeze. Your board is going to slide down to the bottom of the wave and you're going to take a beginner's line. An intermediate surfer, when they take off on a wave, they always go fast. Even their board selection, they're going to get the puddle jumper that's really wide, thick, four fins, and it's just got acceleration, it's got speed because they were told with speed you can do anything. There's another saying, speed kills. If you go too fast, you can't turn. The other thing, if you're racing out past onto the shoulder where you feel comfortable and then trying to do a turn where the way is flatter, you're never gonna be able to turn. You gotta change your line. You gotta go off the bottom and you gotta go off the top. And you gotta take the advanced line because when you go off the bottom, you tap into the power of the wave. When you come off the top, you can access the speed in the wave. And when you do that, your surfing's going to flow. And when you do that, your surfing is going to look effortless. And then when you watch the video footage of yourself surfing, you will like what you see. Now, you don't have to be a beginner to take a beginner's approach. That freeze can happen many times. So the first time I ever got into a barrel, I was surfing in Belito. I must have been about 16 years old. I'd seen magazines and I've seen POV from inside of a magazine. But until that day when I bottom turned, lined it up and the wave came over me. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm in a barrel. I don't know what to do. I literally just had to stand there and enjoy the moment. But I thought so many thoughts within that split second. I went freeze. Then I went, I got to get out of here. And I went flight mode and I jumped off the board, came up the back and the barrel just ran off perfectly and spat. And I could have got the best barrel of my life. I kicked myself for reacting that way. I didn't know why I reacted that way, but it's basically my body trying to protect me when I'm under threat. Now, if I had have relaxed and gone, hey, I'm not under threat. What do I want to do? I want to pick my line and chosen the right line. I would have made that barrel. If you want to level up and change your surfing, change the line. If you're a beginner, you want to go intermediate, learn to surf the middle. If you're an intermediate, you want to go advanced, learn to go top to bottom. To change the line, you've got to get out of one of the three Fs. You've got to go from freeze to flight to fight. In order to go through those transitions, you are going to go through an S-curve. That means you're going to suck at it before you get great at it. 